In Corvallis, people are still reeling after learning a man who lived in Oregon, sat next to them at school and loved cheering for the trailblazers, is one of the 50 killed in the New Zealand attack. His name was Ata Elion. He was 33 and a new husband and dad. Years ago, he and his father helped found the mosque where Friday they were killed. Tragically, the Corvallis Muslim community has dealt with racist violence before. Remember this, back in 2010, a man firebombed the Salman Afarisi Mosque, the same one that Elian's family used to attend in Corvallis. That man's name was Cody Crawford, and prosecutors said he did this because he was angry about a Somali man's plot at the time to bomb Pioneer Square during the Christmas tree lighting. Elion's friends here in Oregon say this latest attack, the one in New Zealand, is bringing up some old, terrifying memories. Places that were universally considered a place of peace, internationally, globally, domestically, had turned into a place where desecration is happening. And I might argue that what had taken place to Atta, may, he, may the Almighty have mercy upon him, is a large form, a magnificent form of ignorance. No one was hurt in that 2010 attack.